Welcome to Learn at Ease. In this video, I will explain the signaling pathway of glucagon. So let's get started. Essential organs of the body required to understand the production of glucagon and its function include, stomach, pancreas, circulatory system, muscle, liver and adipose tissue. In the liver or muscle cell, energy reserve in the form of muscle protein and glycogen is shown. The condition under which glucagon function is during starvation and fasting. During such situation, body will start catabolizing protein. This will cause the release of free amino acid which will enter into the blood. Spike in the free amino acids in blood is sensed by alpha cells of islets of Langerhans, and they will release glucagon. This glucagon will enter the blood. The receptors of glucagon are located on liver and muscle cell which belongs to the family of GPCR. I have prepared a video earlier on GPCR and you would find its link in the description for more details. Glucagon will then bind to GPCR and activates it to produce cyclic AMP, which is a second messenger, cyclic AMP will induce cascade of reactions to catabolize glycogen to produce energy under starvation. This is the basic outline of glucagon release and action. In this video, I will explain signaling pathways induced by binding of glucagon with GPCR that causes glycogen utilization for energy. Briefly, glucagon is released by alpha cells of islets of Langerhans during starvation. In the animation, the cell membrane of muscle or liver cell is shown possessing G protein coupled receptor, trimeric G protein consisting of alpha, beta and gamma subunits, attached to GPCR is shown. Here the alpha subunit is attached to GDP and, GTP in the cytoplasm is shown in the free form. Lastly, adenylate cyclase as an effector is shown anchored into the cell membrane. When glucagon binds to GPCR its conformation changes. This change will allow alpha subunit to replace GDP with GTP. This will activate the cycle and eventually adenylate cyclase will get activated. Activated adenylate cyclase converts ATP to cyclic AMP which is second messenger. Cyclic AMP will further activate cascade of the reactions to induce desired effect in the cell. So let us see this mechanism. There exists an inactive kinase enzyme named protein kinase A in the cytoplasm. Cyclic AMP will bind to this inactive enzyme and activates it. Let us see this mechanism in detail. In the animation, cyclic AMP and inactive protein kinase A is shown, inactive protein kinase A is a tetramer consisting of a duplicate of regulatory protein subunit and a duplicate of actual kinase subunit. Two cyclic AMP molecules will bind to each regulatory subunit, so, in total four cyclic AMP will bind to two regulatory subunits. This will split active protein kinase A from the inactive tetramer. Thus, in entire process, four molecules of cyclic AMP would be utilized to release two active protein kinase A. Let us go back to the original animation. In the cytoplasm there exists another inactive enzyme named, phosphorylase kinase which is abbreviated as PPK. Activated protein kinase will phosphorylate PPK and activates it. This will further phosphorylate an enzyme glycogen phosphorylase. Let us now see the activation of glycogen phosphorylase and its action. Briefly, inactive glycogen phosphorylase has serine amino acid residue at 15th position. This is phosphorylated by active PPK, and glycogen phosphorylase gets activated. 2 glycogen phosphorylase will form a dimer that will catabolize glycogen to release glucose 1-phosphate. An enzyme phosphoglucomutase, will convert glucose 1-phosphate to glucose 6-phosphate, which will then enter the glycolytic pathway to yield energy. This is the overall sketch of glucagon signaling, now, another aspect of GPCR signaling is amplification. As shown in the animation, one molecule of glucagon yields 100,000 glucose molecules, this is why it is said that signal is amplified. Pause the video to memorize the overall sketch of glucagon signaling. In brief, this is how glucagon enables glycogen degradation in muscle and liver to obtain energy during starvation. Hope you enjoyed my video, stay tuned to my channel. Feel free to share, 
like and comment. Subscribe to LAE. See you soon.